Yep. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central and we have an open day today where we have lots of piggies coming in for health checks as well as some adoptions. And I have with me a gorgeous piggy who is called Tim Tam. <laughs> and Tim Tam's come for a little health check. So let's take a closer look. And you can come a bit closer with that. Okay, so Tim Tam needs to have, is this is a little boy, is that right? Dissex born. Yep. Okay. So Tim Tam we need to, to do his ears and yeah, we'll definitely we'll help you with those ears a little bit. Let's just see what else is going on here. He's a long coated giddy pig. I'm just checking for any particular lumps and bumps. His lymphatic system is really good. So and that's one of the first things to indicate problems. So that's good. Hello right there. Apart from dirty ears, let's see if you can, if you can film his little face because he's so cute. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? <laughs> How old is he? He is three. Three years of wow, age. Three. Wow, you're beautiful. Yeah. Just gonna have a little look through through this coat. Do you use revolution or ivermectin with them? Um, that one there. Oh, the spray. Okay. Oh, which that's, one, sorry? The, yeah, the little bottle that's there? Yeah, I use the shampoo version. Right, that, yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Are they kept indoors or outdoors? Indoors. indoors? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what I'd recommend you do yeah. is actually treat them with some. Um, ivermectin or revolution and yeah. the reason for that is if we look through his coat yeah he's probably had a mat that's been cut yeah, off yes, which is fine yes, yeah. but if we look closer into here yeah you'll actually see lots of little bits of dandruff starting oh, to come okay. away see the loose dandruff that i'm mm -hmm. agitating there mm -hmm. and that can typically be the signs of fungal mm. on board and early mites. So mm. rather than you know try and work out exactly what's going mm -hmm. on, I would recommend that you treat them all for mites. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just a good precautionary thing yes. when you see the see the first signs of something happening. Yeah. Just treat preventatively yes. and then nothing's going to nothing more will come of it. But the other thing is to give him a bath. And we've got a really windy day here, so yes. it's not vital that we bath him mm. at the moment. Um, it's quite windy and cold, so we're not going to do that. But um, if we yeah, look I can a bit, see that. can you see? Yeah, the coat I can. What I'm yeah. Out? I was wondering yeah. what they were. I thought it was just from the mat that they were in. But... No, no, oh, okay. it's actually a bit of oh, fungal. Yes. And if we really look up close, I'm yeah. just trying to look how. <laughs> it's complaining big time. And that's fine. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, he doesn't like it when you touch the backside. No, no, <laughs> it's actually to do with their hair going backwards. Oh, okay, they don't right. like that. Yeah because their hair comes out so easily. You can see mm. how I've agitated yes. now. Look at all the dandruff, so it's in yeah. there. Okay. He needs an antifungal bath. Yep. And to do that, use some of the Maliseb, which okay. is this product here. Yeah. So Maliseb antifungal wash, and we use it as a shampoo. So just washing from his ears, yep. behind his ears, down through the coat. Okay. And when you do that, um, you'll lightly rinse it off. You can follow some of the other videos that mm. we've got there, but lightly rinse that off and the remaining amount on his coat will in fact treat what's here yeah yeah he's definitely i would yes, definitely treat yeah, for mites definitely. because it's i would say yeah, the other all, one would as well yeah. so yeah. definitely treat for mites so in terms of his system he has no lumps or bumps or yeah. anything that that stands out which is great i'm just gonna do a little boy check over here Ooh, boy check yeah and <laughs> a little look at you down here I might just go and get some gloves on to do that. Down below, lots of presents <laughs> from you. Some little tip pie. There's one there. Some little more, boy bits. And, of more, and, more, and more and more and more. Which is fine. We're just going to have a little bit of a look here. Put your pee pee. <laughs> Down a bit. When you're doing this, you just need to make sure that their back is really well yes, supported. Yes, yeah. It's got quite a bit of build up of smegma around there. Actually. Oh wow. I haven't actually had a look. Okay. 
Okay. So at we're just going to. Their bits. Yeah. That just usually wipes off from around the edge because it's it just compacts and builds up around there. I'm just going to get that off. And done. All right. Hairy little doodle. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can use his hand. Come on. It's all right. Good boy. This is no. very intrusive. But yeah, you just need to, to be careful that this area remains clean. Yeah. Is it uncomfortable for them when you do that? Uh, no. No. Like he's not okay. wincing in pain. No, no. No, not at all. They're wrong. Ah. So as long as you've got the, the Q-tip a little bit down, yeah. Yeah. it just means it's really soft. Because it is a delicate little yeah, area. Is. That's it. And um, I'm just going to have a little look all the way out. Which <laughs> this is what? Ah, oh, he's actually got a little penile spike there as well. What's that? Well, oh, that's um, this little, see this little hard oh, yeah. section that's there? Yeah. That's called a sperm rod. Right. And you need to remove those every now and then. Okay. If they can't pass them. I yeah. think he's passing them quite well because okay. you'd have seen other symptoms. I'm just going to. I'll bend you a little bit more because it was so Oh, furry. there's another present. <laughs> Presents are fine. But yeah, we'll just move that all the way back and you'll actually see oh, that wow. little, see? That yeah. Little plug. Because what happens when it starts to get really um, stuck in there, it yeah. just builds up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, almost. Look at little Hey, do. Hey, do. A little bit smelly job, this one. Doesn't help with all this hair, does it? <laughs> if you can see there. <laughs> Presents galore! Oh my word! Oh my word! It's alright. I know, I know, I know. To actually make that move mm, forward, you've yeah. got to press above. Oh, okay, so right. It's always above, yep. and then that will happen. And then we're just going to. Well, he doesn't like that. We're just going to yeah. remove that out of Almost there because it's really. Almost there. But it does. It gets very, very hard, and it's, yeah, I've, I've never seen. Yeah, and it can actually block right. that area and cause other issues. Yeah. So we're just going to take that out. Oh, as oh soon my as I, goodness! As soon as I move my hand, you catch my glove. Okay, hold on. There we go. You might be able to grab it if we're. It's going to nothing wrong with this digestive system there we go let's see if we can just get that, get that out Hold on. Yeah. you can see it just breaks up until yeah. it's just hard can you see that with the camera there? yes I can yeah. actually it's still quite Soft. Oh there. my gosh. Okay, so that's still quite a soft amount. That yeah. goes really, really hard. Like oh, a okay. little yeah. like a little stick. But um oh. yeah, so Is it uncomfortable it, for Yeah, oh, it does oh. get uncomfortable. So it's good a good idea to check yeah. down below. <clears throat> when you look at all these Oh bits. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
can go Yay. and have some time on the grass. <laughs> so we'll pop him back. All right, I'll just